Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, my question is to the Minister for Education. Could the Minister update the House in relation to the 2019 Premier's Anzac Spirit School Prize? Minister. Thank you, sir. I'm very pleased to have this question from the member for MacKillop. And, uh, uh, hot off the presses, there's some good news for some students uh, in the electorate of MacKillop that I'll come to shortly. But I know this is a, a prize that is supported uh, by, by members right across this parliament. Uh, and I'm sure that members across this parliament appreciate the opportunities that their teachers in their schools give to students uh, in their local areas to be able to participate in this prize, to engage with the, our servicemen and women, returned servicemen and women, and indeed potentially uh, historical uh, servicemen and women, family members uh, and others who have served our country, so that they can better understand what the Anzac spirit is and what it is uh, to be that, uh, that key part uh, of Australian history and to understand understand it. Uh, so this year more than a thousand students across South Australia took part uh, in the Anzac Spirit School Prize. Uh, year 9 and 10 students uh, and 16 of those students uh, have been successfully uh, chosen uh, to participate in a study tour, a 14 day study tour to Vietnam later this year. Um, this uh, is an opportunity, however, for all of those thousand students to have been able to undertake uh, studies, uh, do research uh, on individual service men and women, soldiers and nurses, people who have given for our country, uh, made sacrifices uh, during those two significant conflicts in particular. Uh, previously it was World War I and during the centenary of Anzac those were highlighted. Uh, this year the poster featured Sir Ross and Keith Smith mm. and their Wally Shears and their other crew member on the centenary, uh, in the centenary uh, year uh, recognising their extraordinary flight across the world. And that's relevant here too because that was the year, 1919 was the year after the end of the First World War. And one of the things, one of the themes they were looking at is the way that the nation recovered and the spirit of the nation was supported by Prime Minister the Prime Minister's uh, prize offered for that trip around the world. That's one of the things students considered, but indeed World War II subjects were also available. Um, so I'm really pleased also to note this year uh, that uh, the entries uh, that were submitted by Schools for Judgment have been submitted to the RSL Virtual War Memorial to contribute to that. But on to the winners, and I'm really pleased the member for MacKillop has asked the question, so I can advise him uh, that the Kingston Community School has provided two of our winners this year, India Little yeah. and William Wiseman, and indeed the Meningi Area School uh, has been honoured with Charlie Meadows' performance. But members right across this chamber can be pleased in the performances of their local students. Uh, so we also congratulate Sophie Baker from the Central York School, yeah. Melissa Campbell from Glenunga International High School, yeah. Laura Cassell from Xavier College, Matilda Cotton from Glenunga again, Lily Farrell from Lederetto College in Marriottville, Montana Foster from the Woodner Area School, yeah. uh, Liam Kay from Cardine College, uh, Shreyas Khanna uh, from St Peter's College, Sophie Lippmann from Loxton High School, Ryan Swartz from Endeavour College, uh, Elise Turter from Roxby Downs Area School, Daisy Yates from St Martin's Lutheran College in Mount Gambia, uh, and Tabitha uh, Zdanovic uh, from the Loxton High School. All of these students are worthy of our congratulations, and I think that they will be joining all the previous students uh, who have gone on this trip on the 5th of July, uh, where at Ayers House we're holding a reception uh, for many of those students who've undertaken those study tours. I think it's going to be an amazing group of young South Australians uh, who have done this work over the last decade and a half or so. Uh, their research and their participation in the community has added to our state's understanding of Anzac. But I think this trip and this prize in particular uh, is an aspirational opportunity for so many young people to give some thought to what this country has been built on over the last 100 years years of that Anzac tradition and what feeds into that spirit. Yeah.